Hello and welcome back to Rosie Sews Modern Vintage. I'm Rosie and it's really lovely to have you here today. So I wanted to show you today some of the things that I have been making over the last few weeks. I've had quite a busy few weeks with sewing um, and I've tried out a couple of new patterns as well. So let's get right to it. So as you know, I have been trying to kind of create a bit of a capsule wardrobe, trying to make most of the things that I sew um, interchangeable with each other so that I never, I'm sort of stuck with, an, with a garment that I don't really know what it goes with. So most of the stuff that I've made today, in fact, everything that I'm gonna show you except for one thing, <laughs> are either navy or, blue, uh, navy or red. But I have also tried to incorporate a bit of as kind of mustard yellow into the wardrobe as well. Um, and that is the other thing that I have made. So the first thing I'll talk about is trousers. Now, as you may know, I am one of Sew Over It's Pattern Insiders, which means that I receive access to every pattern from their back catalogue, but also every new pattern that they create. And I try to sew up as many as I can of the new patterns before or sort of fairly close to their release date so that people can see what they look like on. There's about 50 of us that do the work as pattern insiders. So we're all different shapes and sizes so that people can get a good idea of what the garments look like on different bodies. And uh, I've done a few projects for Sew Over It. I recently made a jersey dress, which you might have seen on my Instagram account and combined it with a blog post actually, which I was really privileged to be asked to do, and um, talking about my body confidence journey. And uh, well, sort of more like a body acceptance journey really, just talking about how we don't have to absolutely love every part of our body in order to feel confident in the clothes that we wear. Um, if you feel like checking that out, please do. I'm really proud of what I wrote. Uh, I'll put a link in the description box below and uh, hopefully it'll be helpful if you have a read. Uh, so, yeah, so anyway, so working for Sew Over It, the latest project that they released was a pair of jeans. They're called the Ultimate Jeans and they come in three different styles. There is uh, the wide leg, kind of, well, no, straight leg, sorry, um, flared and also mum jeans. So that kind of tapered high waist, but tapered shape. Um, so I went for the mum jeans style. I actually didn't have any any denim in my stash at the time, so I used a really lovely mustard uh, corduroy. And I'm really pleased with the finished article. I'll show a picture here of the, I say jeans, cord jeans. <laughs> uh, here they are. So, that, so those are my cord jeans and I really, really love them. They were probably one of the most involved things that I've made other than my coat, which is also a sew over it pattern. Um, there is a lot to do on jeans. There's lots of top stitching. Um, there's uh, pockets all over the place. And obviously with jeans, you have the cutout pocket on the front. So that takes a little bit of jiggling around to make sure that fits properly and doesn't show the lining when you're wearing the jeans. And also, of course, there's the fly as well, which I'd never done before. Uh, so that was really good to learn a new skill when it comes to inserting a fly zip. I definitely didn't do it perfectly. But I did do it <laughs> and next time it will hopefully be better. Um, I did manage to, when I was doing the top stitching around the zip, I did actually manage to sew the jeans together. I stupidly did the top stitching on the kind of, um, I think they call it zip facing, like to stop the zip catching your skin on the inside and then the, 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 the top piece of fabric over the top of the zip, I sewed it all together. <laughs> so it was beautiful top stitching as well. That was what was such a shame. But uh, anyway, um, hopefully they, they look okay. And like I say, next time, hopefully I can do it a little bit better. Because I don't have a defined waist, when you look at the picture, it doesn't really, you can't really tell that they're a tapered jean so much. But the, if I give you a picture of the pattern um, sleeve, you can see there what the mum jean shape is really you know looks like on most bodies um so yeah so i really really like them they fit really well the one problem the thing that i'm really disappointed in after putting all that love and attention into them is that they the cord i use isn't stretch cord and what i find is after i've worn them they just stretch out of shape so i can only really wear them once because once i've worn them sort of sat in the car for 10 minutes and then walked around the supermarket 
they're so baggy that they just look a bit silly on me um which is in no way the problem with the pattern that is purely the problem with the fabric and my mistake really for not thinking about it and choosing a stretch fabric which has better recovery but uh I really really did enjoy my <laughs> jeans making journey even though I've got a few things that I'm not so pleased about and it does make me think that before I probably would never have tried jeans but because I was offered the pattern I thought you know what this will be a really fun challenge something I've not done before and uh, so it's opened my eyes a little bit to jeans making and it's not actually as scary as I thought it would be so I definitely would do it again in fact I have got some pink stretch cord in my stash that maybe that might be a nice pair to make another time when I'm in for a bit of a challenging sew. So watch this space for that. So the second new pattern that I tried out was the Tasuti Robbie pants, which I'll pop a picture of the pattern here. Uh, and I really wanted just a pull on like elasticated waist, wide leg trousers um, for ages and sort of not ever committed myself to what pattern and then when I saw the Robbie pants I kind of followed the hashtag for a while and thought yeah I really really like these they are definitely what I'm looking for so the first pair that I made were for my last Felicity Fabrics blog they're in this gorgeous chambray with like a gold um line running through pinstripe Here's a picture of me wearing them with the top that I made to match. So, uh, so yes, these are the Robbie pants. Um, I didn't love the pattern. I felt that it was a little bit amateurish. The instructions, some are handwritten, some are typed. And the pattern itself, some is handwritten, some is typed. And I found the instructions a little bit sparse. Or not sparse so much as confusing wording. Um, so... I'm not a massive fan, but I do really like the finished product. If you want to get hold of some of this fabric, it's uh, on the Felicity Fabrics website. And also, if you use the discount code ROSY10, that's R-O-S-Y 10, um, you can get 10% off any of their fabrics as well. So that's a really good bonus. So that's the first pair that I made. And then the second pair are made from this fabulous stretch cord from Minerva. Now the first pair I didn't add pockets but the pattern does call for pockets so I did add them on the second pair and I really like them because I've got narrow hips it just kind of adds a little bit of balance to my shape I think with the pockets just adds a bit more interest to my lower half um, kind of balances it out a bit. Um, I do however need to put some different elastic in because for some reason the elastic I put in is super super stretchy and it doesn't really hold the trousers up very well even the stretchy so I need to change that uh, but apart from that I absolutely love these they're very comfortable go with lots and lots of things I'll pop a picture here of the outfit um, as you can see I'm wearing it with a jumper which I think I've talked a tiny bit about in my last vlog is the Nora jumper by Tilly and the Buttons, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen loads of because I've worn it loads and I'm wearing it there in that picture with the Robbie pants. Um, so yeah, so that's that's a fantastic pattern. I really, really love wearing it. I love making it. It's so quick and simple to make. Um, literally two, you know, two, two legs together. If you want to add pockets, fair enough, but it's nothing complicated about adding the pockets and a waistband. Really, really easy. Um, and so they're great if you just... Like if you just need to add some some staple basics to your wardrobe and you don't want to have to be faffing about for ages with sewing, you know, complicated zips and all the rest of it, then they're perfect. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you is the Elemental Skirt by Soho 7. So this one is a free pattern that you receive you subscribed to her mailing list. Here's a picture of me wearing it. It's such an easy skirt. Again, very, very basic pattern, just front and back. And then you do have like a waistband, but I chose to just sew my elastic in, in the top and just have it fold over because it works just as well. Um, it was just a little bit less complicated. Um, and I absolutely love this as well. It's really good, basic, lot, lots of mixing and matching going on in my wardrobe with that and my other garments. Um, so yeah, so really, really happy about that. So those are all the things that I have 
made over the last few weeks but I thought I would also show you some of the things that I have received in the post. Now my first one is a delivery from Felicity's which I always love because it's always wrapped so beautifully and all the lovely tissue paper uh, just makes it feel really special. So in there, excuse me if the cam camera wobbles, I've put it I've got the camera tripod on the ironing board to make it the right height so that I'm putting my fabric on the ironing board too so it wobbles slightly so sorry about that. So this is super uh, basic cotton jersey. When you buy from Felicity's you know you're buying really good quality and this is fantastic like proper nice weight to it, uh, good recovery in the stretch just lovely so again I'll put a link to that for Felicity's website and if you buy this or anything else from their website use the code ROSIE10 to get 10% off and they also always enclose some thread to use with my project they they stock Metla which I'm really happy about because Gutterman is the one that so many people use but my sewing machine doesn't like Gutterman it, really happy with Coates Moon Thread, which is what I use all the time, as you can see in my thread stash there. Uh, Moon Thread is totally fine, so it's not against cheap thread, <laughs> but it doesn't like the posh Gutterman stuff, but it does like Metla, uh, so that's really nice. It's such a treat to sew with a nice thread like this because um, it just gives that extra high-end finish. Um, it's, it's negligible really but it just feels special so again you can get 10% off their threads as well if you use my code right on to the next I've had two two fabrics come for um, my Minerva blogs I do try and get through those quite quickly so I do receive uh, a few fabrics every month and I have a big binge on sewing them so I have got a few from last month as well that I haven't sewn up yet but they will be used very soon this one I saw this on She Sews Happiness uh, Instagram back in the summer and I absolutely loved it and when I saw it on the list of ones that I could choose from I thought I need this. It's a bit crazy, I mean I say it's a bit crazy, most of my fabric is a bit crazy but this one is particularly crazy but I just absolutely adore it. It's retro cassettes, isn't that cool? I was a teenager in the 90s so this is perfect for me because look 90s hits so I don't know what I'm going to use it for it's definitely going to be for something for the summer um whether I'll just make you know another one of my Bakerloo dresses without the collar that I can layer up or whether I might try a new dress but then I was also thinking maybe like a, a robe like the Sylvia robe by from Sew Over It something like that I don't know uh, but anyway really love it so pleased to have got my hands on this and the other one that I got for from this month's selection was this fabulous chambray which has got my favorite mushrooms on it uh so cute when I first looked at the fabric it was hard to see what the pattern was and it didn't say in the description that it was mushrooms so I kind of took a punt on it because I thought this could end up being something like skulls or something like that but I was right it is mushrooms and it's super cute so I'm going to make a pippy pinafore out of that I thought it's perfect for something like that because you could still layer this with striped t-shirts or like this cherry print one you could definitely still layer it with it because it's fairly neutral um yeah so super happy with that and then the final one I bought uh was from a seller on um Facebook and she just pops on every now and again with clearance fabrics that are an absolute steal and it's this black watch tartan I don't know if I can get there there we are um now she said it's got some wool content but I really have no idea how much or if there is any it could be polyester but it does feel quite nice like it has got wool in it anyway I paid two pounds a meter for this two pounds a meter uh, and she had six meters left so I just had the whole lot because I thought I'm going to do something really special with this. I saw hmm, Wonderful So is her name. Anyway, I'll put the name of her Instagram and the picture that I saw made this wonderful, wonderful pinafore dress, which is a full circle skirt. It's the Stanwick skirt by um, Charm Patterns by Gertie Hirsch. 
And then she also, Gertie also did a, an add-on, Stanwick Pinafore um, bib. And that's what this lovely lady has done here. And it just looks so fantastic. I really wanted to copy it. But because the um, Stanwick skirt takes like four metres of fabric, I was thinking I'll never be able to really afford it because especially with tartan, like it's, it can be kind of eight pounds a metre quite easily. And to you to need like four metres was just ridiculous for, for one dress for my budget. So two pounds a metre, yes, please. And uh, hopefully I can get everything out of that six metres and maybe even a little bit left over for something extra, like a little, I don't know, like a little bag or a zip pouch or maybe a brooch, something like that. So yeah, that's all of my lovely goodies that I have received over the last few weeks. I hope you've enjoyed listening to me prattle on about all my projects this month. And uh, I would love to hear if you've got anything exciting planned for yourself in the next few weeks too, um, sewing wise. So do let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and for sticking with my channel. I really, really appreciate it. If you could find it in your heart to subscribe and also to click the notification bell, which you will see down below, I would really, really love it as uh, every single follower means so much to me. Um, so I will say goodbye for now, but I will see you soon. And in the meantime, happy sewing. Bye.